Good morning. Uh, so today I can continue uh, trying to build a Debian package um, or .deb for a snippet expander. Uh, so yeah, that's one of my tasks. Still waiting for the next to get reviewed. Uh, so let's go here. So last time um, we got to the point where we were using the build or the the build, whatever it's called, um, to try and get the build working with the control files in place. But didn't have any luck. It did some stuff. It did it clean, but then it complained about um, not having a source available when it was actually in the source directory. And I think that's because it's trying to use a different mode um, by default. I want to build a binary package. Um, so, all right, straight in, that's good. Um, so this is what we did. Um, and I think I need to find a way of just doing binary potentially. It's not mentioned in this wiki. I'm just following this little intro. So I guess we need to have a look at the uh, the help for it. Um, so go to man page. Okay. So there is a binary flag. So we'll all redo this. Okay. An alternative way of using the build is to use one or more of the parameters binary, binary arch, binary in depth and clean. In which case, the build will attempt to gain root privileges and then run Debian rules with the given parameters. Okay, root, root, root. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Not telling me much there. Let's have a look, see what else we got. Environment variables, hooks, options. No mention of the binary stuff. Maybe there's another section. Examples. Ah, to build your own package, simply run the build from inside the source tree. package build package options may be given on the command line. The typical command line options to build only the binary package without signing the changes file or the non-existent DSC file. To so get minus i, that wasn't mentioned. What's minus i and minus b? In fact, minus u wasn't mentioned either. So they must be, I presume, Options for that. I bet that's one missing. It's kind of just maybe this thing is just passing through some options. Let's have a look. Build binary or source packages from. All right. So this is the main thing then, and to build basically gets the environment up and running them for it. Okay. Okay. 
build a binary. So okay. So that's what I need there. What was that minus I? Why would you use it? Somehow, where's the short form minus i? That's maybe it's coming later, but all right. So we've got the US for the unsigned source and unsigned changes. We definitely need that because we're not signing anything. Ignore. It's going back up. Ah, oh. no. Hmm. I'm maybe being blind. I can't see the minus I. Maybe it's not part of this. Maybe it's part of another command that's passed down to. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Debugging source. All right. Okay. I'm going to assume I'll just use that. All right. Let's have a crack at oh, this then. Um, so we're basically just going to do this. I'll do a make clean. I'll do a make clean all. I'm just going to do a quick make as well, just to make sure it does work. I don't think I've made any changes since the last um, session anyway, so it should be fine. as well okay we're good so let's do this then I oh, can bump up the size a little bit there you go okay so let's try this see what happens well let's do more Built all the things, I think, and now the build itself is doing something. It's not hitting uh, much there. Oh, it's finished, that's why. So it failed. Okay. Hmm. Not giving me a lot of info there.
let's just check that this stuff all worked. So that don't really care about that. That's the site. That's not even going to apply. Um, so the CLI. Oh. Okay, nothing to do on these, that's why. I think. Interesting. I'm not sure. Oh, it's all parallel. Of course. Alright, so it's a bit confusing. Right, so I need to try and work out what's what. So that's X. And that looks to have been okay. Hmm, very confusing because it's all interleaved. We've got stuff going on. Can I make it not in Delia so I can see the changes better? I might have to look at some other docs in a minute. Uh, actually, about that. Okay. Okay, so I can just do minus J1. Let's try that. Let's do make clean and make clean. Oh, I do that because um, I don't iterate down for those two. Um, uh, we'll just do that. Okay. And then we'll do minus J1. See if that's easier to read. Ah, okay. Now we're having build artifact <laughs> problems, I think. Okay. Wow. 
now. Interesting. Okay. So here we are on the make clean that I did. Then we come into the build. That clean, that does its own clean. And then It's not happy. So there seems to be a bunch of junk in dot deb helper. Okay. Looks like I need to clean that up. Don't know where that came from. Why can't I remove it? What permission problems has it got? None. Oh, looks okay. Hmm. Who's he running as? Because that's all looking okay. Interesting. It's going to do, we'll do a clean all removes deb helper. Okay. Okay, so lower down it must be different permissions. Read only. <laughs> nice. I wonder if that's an artifact of the problem that was had. I wonder why it would do that.
Okay, right. Let's have another go then. It's done the clean. Now it's just doing the make. Right. So it did. Snippet expanded D and then Wales. Okay, right. So it's not able to find Wales. Um, now that's because it's not running. I'm reading that the build stuff. It's not running in normal mode. So this is a bit like in my CI C D. Now I have to put in the path. So because it gets installed. Hmm. I need to stop using my little shortcut there on here. So here, before I do any build, I need to do an export of where I've installed Wales. So I'm going to have to, presumably, pass in some environment variables. This is interesting though. Again, the environment preservation options may be used. Okay, so I might be able to do root command, 
the pseudo because that's what I've got on here. So strip in. It resets path. And I can use preserve envar. Right, so I have to do this. Okay, note that one may add directories to the beginning of the sanitized path using prepend path. Okay. So where's prepend path? Okay. Right then. This is going to fail though, isn't it? See if that works. No, oh, is it not called prepared? Yeah, right. Prepend path. I'm confused.
And I'm running out of time. Oh, maybe it's an Alduin thing. Because that is something... This maybe should go there. Okay, there we go. All right, got further. Is my pseudo. Interesting that you can't do that rewrite. Okay, it's found Wales. So far, so good. No, it's running tests as well. And failed. Okay. That'll be because XV FB isn't there. Okay. Uh, where's the dip? Is it really up the way? Oof. Don't want that. Oh, it's tiny. Okay. I have no idea whether that's valid or not, and I can't, I haven't got time to test that now. Doesn't look it. I mean, that's tiny, tiny. I 
oh, of course, it doesn't have any, it won't have any binaries in it. It won't know which binaries to grab. Okay. All right, so that's the task for next time, um, is to look into um, what we need to do to tell it where the where the binaries are so it can put them in. I think I I'm not gonna get far with this, but this is obviously doing a source package. Um and it doesn't really give me a lot more info here. I'll need to have a look at the other docs I've got. Uh, we have this one. That's a bit of a listicle, that one. Let's have a look at the other one that I've got. Right, that's the intro that I've just been looking at. Right, well, I'm not going to get any further today. I need to get to work as such. Um, so, yeah, so next next time, I basically need to uh, go understand what the control files and so on do for the Debian package. So it can be told... what binaries and so on to use. It might be that I just need to add a make install target. I haven't got one. So that would say, hey, binaries, man pages, icons here you go maybe understands that I don't know we will see um, okay well so until next time take care